as Leo season comes to an end, we have some great new piece of content for my 5D mystics and functional adults. It's all about being yourself. Now, love is very, very easy for those of us who have the inclined immediate C to be able and choose compassion. So we get to choose compassion because we have a relationship with our emotional body. So our left mode is the verbal. Our right mode is where emotions get stored. In the first year of life, as I've been sharing with the regular listeners, is when our right brain mode is in development. Apparently, it's the only one online. It's the only one developing. Again, the lovely empirical research people who are in the field of mental health that I get to learn from, therapists, neuroscientists, they have different titles. I can go find all that data for my lovely regular listeners, but anybody who's not going to become a regular listener, it's in specific organized sets of education that teach you about our lovely brain. And one of them, I love Daniel Siegel, the Mindsight Institute. So he gets to teach me about how the left and right mode in my interpersonal neurobiology course is connected with this corpus callosum. So as I was saying, some of us easily move towards integration of the brain. So our emotions, when they come up, because the brain stem, that, that would be here, the limbic system, wherever it is, and then the cortex. So the cortex is actually connected to our mammalian nervous system, the ventral vagal nervous system, which Stephen Porges says is all the way, like your face is your heart. So we wear our hearts on our faces, the 5D mystics in the Enlightenment Soul Age group from the love cycle, the ones who get out of a shame cycle, which we talk about, and those individuals have a very different story. So their story, I don't know it because I don't know how to be disconnected from my emotional body. But people who are trauma childhood survivors, the ones who do therapy though, because the ones who don't, I've met plenty of them, they in fact use their adaptive child, emotional charge states, and they're harsh and unforgiving and they don't learn new skills. In fact, they're the ones who become the extreme people with the cancel culture. But there's also to say that some of the psychoeducators aren't good because they're not teaching them about how flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, and stable is boundaries. So boundaries are you being able to have effective conversation. And effective conversation can only come if you have a integration of the brain because that would mean that you get to work with your actual physiological brain. So as I was saying, the brain stem is connected to our nervous system and our brain is an embodied brain. So that means it's not separate. Even if the people are disconnected from their emotional body, there are those who, again, they would know, because I just read a couple and or different articles from a therapist who is a childhood trauma survivor and he supports people to work with their adaptive child. So he, he has this beautiful community. His name is Patrick. He's on YouTube. You can reach out. I'll give you his little link and you can go follow him because he's really awesome. And he describes something that, again, I'm like, wow, okay. I did know that some people present how they felt weird with emotions, but I hadn't ever had somebody who said to me, this is actually where I saw the difference once I got better because they had therapy. So Patrick is a therapist. He's better and he's helping people. And he was saying how There's not the relationship for people who are childhood trauma survivors with all emotions. And so like joy and fear and sadness and disgust and anger and even being able to not actually like feeling weird about not having disgust or anger when somebody's mistreating you because he's talking also about people who get into codependent relationships. So again, he's a childhood trauma survivor. So for Patrick and anybody who comes out of a shame cycle, and a shame cycle is a term used, again, from the therapy community, inner critic, outer critic, and then there's denying these emotions because they're overwhelming. And the inner critic, outer critic is when somebody is having a negative self-talk or accusing other people of things, which it's very straightforward and easy for an adaptive child energy to do that because a charge state is actually just how you're feeling inside and the movies make it look cool to say, oh, look, that lady looked at me weird. Something's wrong with her. And that actually is the reflection of an insecure person who's thinking somebody's looking at them weird. For all you know, they're looking beyond you, not at you. And that's a very straightforward and simple thing, which is why a lot of people disregard when I share the psychoeducation particularly all this stuff. So my 5D mystics in the Enlightenment Soul Age group from a love cycle, we are always those compassionate mirrors. 
And then we have a group of people who's taken the compassion and the two come together to be their self. So while people who come out of a shame cycle might have a different story because those people, before they can become their self with love, there is to reconnect home. So all of our embodied brains and anybody who wants to consider us as part of this lovely field of energy. So we don't do belief systems, by the way. 5D is beyond all belief systems. We respectfully put to the side 3D plane, 4D plane, not respectfully. 4D we dismantle because 4D talks about people as energy vampires, dark auras, karmics, so contracts ending. They talk in a way that is not okay because they're dehumanizing a person who actually has childhood trauma. And they're not being in the 5D spectrum. They're not being in oneness consciousness. And their plane is accusing people. While the 3D has an ancient bunch of different things, it's a structure. And there's reasons why I get into it in our episodes that we don't uh, talk about that one. It's hopefully they update their structure. Otherwise, you know, time passes for all. And when something doesn't work, it crumbles and falls away. So there's that. Meantime, again, being yourself, very straightforward for love cycle people because we are okay with emotions. We don't feel disgusted. We don't feel anger. We don't feel things in a way that we don't explore. If we feel disgust, we'll know it. If we feel anger, we'll know it. And we'll be able to use our words and we'll be comfortable in our body. So our body is our container. If you learn about Peter Levine or Bezel van der Kolk, you'll learn about why it's important to be okay and safe in your container can't sit with the sensations of your body means you're not going to explore them so like daniel siegel points out the left and right mode they can communicate with this corpus callosum but usually one turns on the other turns off until you're integrating your own brain so you create differentiation on your own to have that your right brain mode must be not compromised in its growth people who come from a childhood of trauma their right brain mode is compromised in its growth there's a compromised corpus callosum there's a compromised hippocampus there's a compromised prefrontal cortex or cortex so doesn't mean it's fixed no that's exactly what all of the lovely therapists that i've learned from i'm trauma informed for a reason to support personal development and people to be their self and before we run out of time i'm going to read to you bruce b wilmer's poem this i have had since i was like 13 14 and this is because I've always been myself differentiated and happy to be flawed and imperfect and happy to meet flawed and imperfect people out there and functional adults. It's because we're good with emotions and talking about it that we have fun together. Nobody gets into the ego sensitive. Nobody does the cancel culture. Nobody does any of the stuff that people who do that, they're rigid minds. This is one point. So they're rigid minds and the adaptive child is not usually looking to harmonize with others. They're looking to stay safe. It's called trauma safety behavior, safety responses, which can also have addictive compulsive behaviors, which can be alcohol, drugs, sex, food, the shame cycle. They withdraw and they do it all over again. Here's that karma wheel. So long story short, there's a lot to learn about yourself as a person and the spirituality process and enlightenment is aka you moving into integration of the brain, restored embodied self to be able to be yourself as an inspiring human potential person who's experiencing that as well as being able to be in your purusha prakriti so awareness of you uncontrolled love in your own energy body we get to talk about that so again i'm running out of time believe in yourself bruce b wilmer believe in yourself to the depth of your being nourish the talents your spirit is freeing know in your heart when the going gets slow that your faith in yourself will continue to grow don't forfeit ambition when others may doubt it's your life to live you must live it throughout Learn from your errors, don't dwell in the past, never withdraw from a world that is vast. Believe in yourself, find the best that is you, let your spirit prevail, steer a course that is true. And that is the most beautiful poem that I could have ever, ever found, as well as every action has a reaction. Everything that is meant to come comes your way, and it's not because of that divine timing. It's that you as a person, when you're in charge of yourself and you're able to know that change is your choice of words, but for those of us who expand consciousness consistently, it's just you being the adult version of you mentally and emotionally and then being differentiated and knowing you and I can be apples and oranges, being completely opposing political, sociological, religious, all of it, but look with respect because that's what Zen masters do, which is, by the way, our 5BC mystics, functional adults, Enlightenment Soul Age Group, the community we're building, 
So come on together. We learn also how to navigate our nervous system, which is what's connected to the brainstem. Very important to note. And on that note, have a great day.